What's up everyone? Today we're going to be learning how to make your own profile readme on GitHub. A profile readme on GitHub is the equivalent to say a bio on Instagram or a bio on X. On this bio, you can talk about yourself in ways such as stating your name, talk about where you were born. You can even talk about your interests or even your current projects you're working on. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so first off, to start with this, go to your profile page. Your profile page is going to look a lot different from mine, or it might look similar. I don't know. You might have some pinned projects at the top. You're going to have your contributions, track record. I mean, from here, of course, then you can like edit your details. You can put your socials in, right? But there's a better way to put in your information that will catch the eye of other people. So how do we do this? So we're going to jump over to your repositories. And what we have to do is we have to create a readme file repository. So what I mean by that is that we have to create a repository name that is the same as our username, right? So mine's Blizzard. So we're going to go to. And like I said, you can read it down here too. Blizzard Blizzard is a special repository that you can use to add a readme.md your GitHub profile, make sure it's public and initialize it with the readme to get started. So that's another thing. Also make sure it's public and we'll cover that description. You just leave it blank. As I just mentioned, keep it public. We're going to initialize this readme file. Don't worry about a git ignore for a license. You can put MIT if you want to be honest, you don't need anything. I just do this out of good habit. And of course, we missed it at the top. No template needed. Create your repository. And there we go. So we have this, right? Hi there. Now we're going to go to our profile. Okay, great. So now we've initialized everything. We have this beautiful readme.md file up here for our profile. And of course, right, we have our pin icon. We can go in here and we can edit it, right? It already gives some pretext of what we could put in, right? I'm currently working on, um, I'm currently learning, looking, looking to, looking for help with, ask me about how to reach pronouns, fun fact, right? All this really cool stuff we could talk about, but there's this great site that I found that can make this so much easier and so much more engaging. So the website that we're going to be using is profileme.dev. I'll drop the link in the description below so you guys can just copy and paste that in. But let me tell you, after just diving deep into the internet and trying to find like a good template that works for a readme file, this is it. I'm telling you, this is it. It does a nice breakdown and we're going to go over each part and you're going to understand how proficient this website is when it comes to creating markdown for putting it into your readme file. Also, I want to credit Daniel. I haven't worked with him, nor am I in cahoots with him at all, but I just want to credit him and credit his team and just say how he did such a great job with this application. So now that we're here, let's get into it. So from here, let's start from top down. All right. So we're on the introduction page, right? Hi, my name is. Hey, Sains. Waving hand animation. It's up to you. It's a live update, which is great. So it's waving. Click to know. I like it waving. So I'm going to keep it there. Subtitle. This is basically your title, uh, like what you're, what you're currently going for, right? If you're a student or if you have graduated and if you are in the workforce looking for a job. So I'm going to put, I am. Long description. I'll keep it short, but you guys can put, you know, whatever you want in there. I love code. So from here, you can get more detailed. I am based in, I am based in New York, so I will put New York. And this is great. Look how beautiful this is. Bullet points, boom, emoji and the type right there. This is perfect. 
So from here we have my portfolio. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it a website or my, my website, right? So let's do my website. And from here, this is the actual URL. So if you guys want to check on my website too, that'd be awesome. So this is it right here. Acehanes.dev, right? There we go. You're going to click on this and it'll take you to that, right? So if you have your own personal website, put that in or wherever, wherever your portfolio is, pop it in. Go to it and you're set. Next thing down, we have emails. So we're going to click uh, this email. The next section we have is the rocket ship, right? I am currently working on what? What are you working on, right? So this fill in says my app, right? So for me, for example, I am working on some ML, like facial recognition for a Tello drone, right? So I'm going to call this. ML Hello Drone. And the super cool thing with this now is we can go to our repository. I have it already pulled up. This is all the files for this, right? The Tello Drone course. Take it all the way here. For anyone who's doing this and doesn't know this, don't copy the HTTPS part because that's already in the profileme.dev fill in. So just take it from GitHub forward okay copy that go back to this page now we're just going to paste this in and look at that i'm currently working on ml tello drone right someone's like oh what is trace working on like what is this they can click on it there we go very cool stuff the next section we have is what you're currently learning so this can be anything this can be frameworks this can be concepts these can be languages, right? Um, this fill in right here says framework. So if we're going to go off of this prompt, say a framework is, we'll go YOLO, right? Another one we could do is TensorFlow. Uh, NumPy. Don't worry if you don't know these. These are just things that I'm, I'm personally working on. Um, something more common that everybody knows, JavaScript. But JS for short. Types it out. Beautiful. Bullet point. There it is. So this section is one of my favorites because you can talk about what you want to collaborate on. And this is great. You can have these great projects. And working alone is it's fun, right? It's great. You're able to do what you want when you want to. No one's touching your stuff. But working in a team is 10 times better, I promise you. So when people are checking out your page that are also interested in your work. It allows them to be able to understand that they can reach out to you. And at that point, you guys can start to build together and create such better products. So for this, I'm open to collaborating on other drone projects. There we go. Very simple. Now people know that you want to work on other drone projects with them. And lastly, we have anything else. So you can keep this fun, keep this short, keep this sweet, right? Um, in mine, I said I have a cat named Otto. So that's mine, right? But for you, it could be anything. It could be a pet. It could be your favorite hobby. It could be anything. Anything that you think they would laugh at or find funny or, or amusing. So with that, we're going to go to the next section now. This is the skill section. So in here... We're going to first tackle the core section. So what's your core, right? Um, I'll do a few for me, C++, C Sharp. I know Git, JavaScript, Python, working on others, but nothing enough to put in into like a skill yet. Front end, HTML, React, Next.js, we have CSS, leave it for that the tail in css there we go next we have backend and database so from here no js we can do mysql there's firebase app right roku i mean th there's a bunch right and over these find out which one is yours click it it adds it over here and it's perfect going down you can see i have mac os clicked already right for the operating system we can do Blender, I've used Blender, I use Arduino, 
Raspberry Pi and TensorFlow are all of mine as well. Software is like Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, Premiere Pro, XD, Figma, Sketch. Let's do Figma. Web3 from here, I have Ethereum marked already. We have MetaMask. You can click whichever one you want as well. And then onwards, we have Cloud. Google Cloud, it's the only selection. So if that falls under you, click that. But now we're going to move on to the next section, Socials. So from here, you can now put in all of your socials, which is amazing. So we're going to do GitHub profile, right? So how to get that? Go to your profile, back on your GitHub, double click. And all you're going to have to copy is just like your username. So just copy that in, pop it over, paste it. Look at that. That's insane. Instant. Brings you over. That's insane. That's awesome. We have our X profile. We have we have some other ones. Hashnode, Medium, Dev.2, LinkedIn, Hollywork, Twitch, YouTube, Discord, Instagram. The list goes on, right? There's a lot down here. Um, I'm not going to put in all of mine. But socials, for example, we'll just put GitHub, right? But from here, though, you can drop everything in. So fill these out. Um, and once you have those, it just builds up more of those emblems as well, which is great. The next section, we're going to be going into badges. So in badges now, there's this very cool feature where it breaks down basically stats of what you've done on GitHub. It's a very cool visualizer. So we're going to do stats card. So from here, right? Total stars earned total commits, a bunch of other things, right? And it gives you a, a rank. So I'm at rank C. Not great. We're going to work on it. But we have more, right? Top repositories, top languages, follower count, right? A few things, some things, some things I care about, some things I don't care about at all, like follower count, for example. But total contributions, current streak, longest streak. We have Top languages, right? JavaScript is my highest language. Something recently they've done is added follower counts for both X and Twitch. I'm not going to link them right now, but you can link those as well, which is great. And this is just very simple styles. So you can change the color. Let's change it to... You see how everything changes. The background, we can change it to... Kind of looks nice. Go to uh there we go. I don't know. That's kind of ugly. Never mind. But you can change these as well to whatever you want. Change this to a nice pink. There's some cool modifications you can make with badges. And then from here, we're gonna go to our next section. On the support section, very simple. We have two spots. These are just for a buy me a coffee. I don't personally use these, but if you have these, you can type your name out, your username, and get those set up. So now we've covered all of the tabs, right? Our introduction, our skills, our socials, our badges, and the support, right? And this is the outcome. So starting from the top, we have, hi, my name is Chase Haynes. What am I, software engineer? Little bio, I love code. We have our location. Portfolio link, contact, email, what you're currently working on. Um, we even have then also like the frameworks or like the technical skills you're learning, what you're open to, and then also a little fun fact. We have our skills, we have our socials, and now we have our badges. So we have everything done, but now how do we get this over to GitHub? And let me tell you, it is very simple. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this markdown tab. This is everything under the hood. Looking at this, this is beautiful, right? Just a simple, hi, my name is so-and-so with all the breakdowns of everything. But this is what's going on under the hood. A lot. It's doable, but it is a lot and it's very, it's very time consuming. So from here, we're going to copy. We are going to go to our main profile page, right? Just click here and click to your profile. And from here, we're going to edit the readme file. 
select all and now we're going to paste we're going to commit changes commit it to the main branch and there you have it now we're just going to refresh it and look at that your readme file is set up so now we're going to use it from a profile view someone pops into your profile and just look at that that is so much better right you can have it on the side and put everything down which is great but this just allows it to pop and make it look so much better if you like what you saw hit that thumbs up and also hit that subscribe so you can see more of my upcoming youtube videos with that being said thank you so much and have a great day